Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Badfish coming at you with another episode of Gone Gaming. Of course, we are in the city of Acadia today. If you're new to my channel, Acadia is my current ongoing City Skylines playthrough based off of New England. If you enjoy what you see today, definitely hit that subscribe button if you enjoy City Skylines because we got a bunch of different uh, builds on the channel and a bunch coming up. So definitely check those out and check out the channel. But today, guys, what we're going to be doing is... Uh, probably the first requested build I had when I started Acadia, and that is to uh, try my hand at building out a ski resort or a ski mountain somewhere in the town. So we're a little bit away from Moosehead and a little bit away from the city that we've been building in the past episodes, uh, because I want this to have its own town eventually, but we are just gonna build out the resort itself today. So that big building you're seeing is the Mountain Resort by Tomas. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I think it fit perfectly with the theme that we're going with with Acadia and kind of have you know a woodsy theme, but definitely it looks like a very, very nice hotel, like a place you'd wanna spend a couple weeks at. Um, so we're putting it up in the mountains here and we're gonna do a lot of different landscaping and uh, different things to kind of level out the mountain sign a little bit so it's not the steepest ski mountain in the world. So right now it's very steep, but we're gonna kind of smooth it out a bit. And uh, right now, actually, here we go. So we're gonna smooth out the mountain and kind of make the gradient a little less steep, at least for part of it, so you can actually fit, you know, ski hills on it. Uh, so just kind of leveled things out and then use the smoothing tool to just kind of make a smaller slope here on the side of this gigantic mountain. And we're going to be using the chairlift, the vanilla chairlift, as the uh, uh, basically the chairlift. So it's actually it's a cable car, excuse me, not a chairlift. So the vanilla cable car is a chairlift. There is a chairlift asset on the workshop, but you need the Snowfall DLC for it. I don't got that. So just making do with the cable car, I think it worked out fine. And to kind of actually have road connections up to it, we're going to kind of have this switchback road running up the side of the mountain here. We're going to kind of level that out and make it smoother too. So it's not ridiculously steep inclines on those curves. And uh, up on this mountain, eventually, we're just going to put like a lookout tower and a couple extra things. And then down at the bottom ski lift, we're just putting in a little bit of parking so that way people who are just coming for the ski mountain have places to park, whereas we're going to do separate parking for the hotel itself or the resort itself. And I am adding like a pool and stuff, as you can see in the background, and this is just me putting out the extra parking. Um, I wanted to have those just because, you know, obviously ski resorts have to do something in the summer. So these guys got a nice pool and I'm going to add a couple like tennis courts and things and really decorate it up. I think it looks really nice by the end of the video here today. I think we come up with a, a very good looking uh, kind of centerpiece. It'll be on one of the postcards in that visitor center I made for the truck stop, this place. Uh, and the other thing is, if you're noticing the ground right now, it's very cracked and kind of gross and dirty. Um, I end up using like grass painting and grass with surface painter, so it looks a little less... I, I don't even know, like it's very craggly. I haven't seen uh, ground like that too much in New England, so I'm not going to be using that on this area. But just while we're building, I didn't really care about it as much. Um, so just building out the main parking lot here for the resort itself. I have no idea how this will get used considering there's no housing over here yet. Uh, that is going to, you know, remain to be seen. Really everything I'm building right now, I need to like worry about eventually getting housing by it so they actually have the parking lots used. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to throw down a bunch of prop cars. But I digress. So just finishing out this little parking lot here. And now we're going to work more on the actual like landscaping side slash. Yeah, I guess this is still landscaping, even I'm just putting tiling down. But we're going to use the uh, concrete tiles that I used. I think I used them on the Carabas and maybe uh, I don't know if I used them in the last episode or not. I don't think I did. Oh, wait. Yes, I did for the police, uh, the interest of the police department. I did so. I just really like these. They're not very complicated. They don't stick out too much, but they just add enough little bit of detail to, you know, the front of different places that I think I really enjoy them. I actually use them on the back end of this build too, to kind of build out a restaurant, but end up switching those later in the video, as you'll see, to kind of like a wooden deck. Uh, but I think for the entrance, it's nice. They're very uh, non-intrusive and, you know, it's it looks good as far as detail goes. 
and then we're just gonna do a little bit of extra detailing on this front end as well we're gonna add some like lamp posts and uh, I think eventually we'll come around um, not for a little while but we are gonna come around and add in some trees and stuff um, so now what I'm doing is using a stone wall around the actual um, property itself uh, if anything you know maybe this was you know the building doesn't look like it's too old but maybe it's been renovated maybe it's been an older kind of hotel for a long time they have the stone wall from you know who knows when probably like the 1800 stone wall and out in front of it uh, you'll see a lot of stuff like that in uh, New England if you're you know it's old for America right so just putting in the stone wall around it we'll do some cool landscaping inside of the stone wall and then kind of continue the natural forest around it which I think ends up looking really nice as well um, you are going to notice a bit of a frame rate dip in the live play. Uh, that is because I did add far too many trees. I tried to delete as many as I could, but uh, that was my bad. I think when I build out the forest during this time lapse a little bit, I went a little too crazy with it. Um, but I end up trying to thin out the forest a lot and you'll see me, you know, deleting things to make the ski hills as well to kind of combat that frame rate dip. So it's not too bad, um, but it's only when I'm, you know, I see too many trees. That's only when it's trying to render too many trees. That's when it's freaking out. But other than that, it's all right. So just finishing out that little bit of entryway there with another uh, bit of a walkway and then just kind of trying to round out the stone wall a little bit. Stone walls don't typically have like sharp, uh, jagged turns to them. So I wanted it to be very rounded out and very kind of flowy. And now um, on the back end here, I am gonna just add some pathing. Like I said, I use surface painter grass, so it's kind of painting over the walkways. So I have to take it out at least around where they're gonna be walking in. Uh, but I end up covering this up with trees and stuff. So you can't even tell that the ground's different than from what it should be. Um, and I realized the door is in the middle here. So I end up adding a path in the middle instead of those two on the side. And then now we're just doing a little bit of detailing on the pool here. So this is the Oasis Pool by King Leno. I'm just gonna add a couple uh, you know, different props to some of the empty spaces. So uh, the to download this asset, you already have to download uh, what's called, I think it's just the Cabana props or something like that by King Leno. So those are those cabanas in the background. So I have those props to put in. Put a little life buoy there. I thought it just looked nice in that little grass planter. Don't know why. And then we're just going to do a bunch of like tanning chairs and things like that for people to hang out in and we'll kind of do them in bunches. So it shows that like people have been grouping up the chairs and things like that. And we'll throw in some umbrellas um, and just kind of scatter them around through the different groups of chairs and things like that. I end up using just one color because I feel like with a really nice hotel like this, they're going to pretty much just use like one certain vendor for something and they get their black umbrellas and that's a day and then i'm just adding a couple more cabanas on the side here again just to kind of mirror the ones that um, are already part of the asset and to just of course add a little more detail once again so we're just going to go through and add in just random assortments of these cabana props and everything's floating because i'm putting it on top of a building so i ended up having to move everything so don't worry i didn't leave it all floating like that and then in the final corner, I'm just doing like a little grill for people to hang out in, um, you know, where it is a ski resort slash kind of like a, a summertime resort. I think it is going to have to be family friendly somewhat. So adding little like grills and places for the kids to go do things. Um, I wanted to add a little bit more of that. I probably could have added like, I don't know, like a playground on the side or something. I didn't really know where to put it, but at least I got a place for them to get hot dogs, right? and obviously a ski hill, but it's not winter because I don't have the Snowfall DLC. So now we're just adding a couple more details to that front end. I used this fountain before when I was doing the truck stop. Really like that asset. I think it's really pretty. And then I got these cool lamp posts off the workshop that I'm going to use around here. I think they're just a little bit fancier than the typical ones and have a little more detail to them. They got this cool like iron work on the top and I think it fits really nicely with the um, kind of motif of this asset here. So here is what I was talking about where I'm going to be building out a little restaurant. Again, this is just a quick, easy detail to throw down. Uh, not very involved. I just got a couple restaurant props off the workshop. I've done this a few times in Acadia already. So I've just thrown down some uh, different chairs and tables and things like that. 
And like I said, at the end, we are going to come back through here and change this over to more like a wood decking. I don't I, like this kind of concrete works well for the entryway because people are just coming in and out, maybe sitting on a bench for a second. But where people are going to be sitting down and eating here, I feel like the hotel would you know splurge for some nice decking or something since you're going to be spending a couple hours looking at this ground, not just like a few minutes. So I do end up switching this over to some decking later on and uh, just kind of giving a little more order to the tables the way I had them before. It was a little too haphazard, so I just wanted to swap that around. And now at this point, um, I remembered I wanted to put some tennis courts down again, just to have more places for people to do things during the off season, obviously. So we're just gonna add some pathing through here. And uh, I got these tennis courts off the workshop. So these are not the vanilla ones. They're a little bit bigger. Obviously, they don't have as much detail, so I'm going to have to go through and put down some fences and stuff and kind of get them to actually set flush against the ground was a little bit of a problem just because the ground is not perfectly level, obviously. So they're a little bit higher than I wanted them to be. Um, but honestly, once I put the detail around it, it works out. And the other thing that like I need to get more of is some paths without props on them because the trash can and the bench that are on this path get in the way real hard. Um, but I end up making it work out by stretching the path down a little bit more. So what I'm using here is again, uh, the same fence that I use for my backstop and my baseball field. It's the industrial, tall industrial fence. So I just put that around the courts to keep the tennis balls in. And now we're just doing these cool hedges, um, just kind of wrapping it around everything. And then um, we're gonna put a couple of trees inside the uh, courts here. Takes me a minute to find a tree that works just because I didn't want it to be clipping through obviously. So I tried to find something that the leaves didn't start until the trunk was a little bit higher up. Um, and I ended up with these trees right here. I don't think any of them clip through too bad and they're all starting pretty high up. Um, and I think they just add a nice little bit of detail to the little bit of hedges that we have going around the tennis courts here. And uh, yeah, I think it looks nice. I deleted that one just because it was too big, but then a bigger one came. So I was like, fine, I guess it's going to be a big tree. Um, and then the last little bit of detail kind of on the base here, I wanted to just put a Starbucks in um, where this is kind of like a, I guess, upper class resort. Um, obviously, it's very, ex well, it looks very expensive to stay in that hotel, at least to me. Um, we're just putting, I feel like a Starbucks would be like, this would be their perfect place to pop one down. Um, you know, so even though it's New England, I didn't think Dunkin' Donuts would have a franchise up here. They like to do it more where there's actually people, not just people playing tennis. So uh, we're putting in some cars in the back of the Starbucks and a little bit of trash area, trash pickup, things like that. and. Finally, we're just gonna put in the green umbrellas and tables here to kind of match the Starbucks motif. And uh, I don't think they're floating. Um, I have to always check for some reason whenever I put props down buildings to make sure they're not floating. And uh, now at this point, I finally decide uh, to tackle a little bit of detail that I've wanted to do um, for the ski mountain since you guys uh, thought of it and I thought you know They probably have a bit of kind of an industrial area with some Cool like plows and things like that set up for when they have to like groom the trails and stuff I couldn't find any like actual snow groomers that will go around and like actually make the trails level and things like that But I did find some cool plows and stuff and uh, obviously like sand piles and stuff that they have to put sand down on the roads leading up to here all that good stuff. So I ended up just going through my industrial props, kind of seeing what fit. Um, I end up, this plow that I got is a really cool asset. It's like a cool uh, cat plow, it's gigantic. And then of course, just random industrial props kind of spread around the warehouse itself. And you gotta have a front loader in case you wanna get some sand out. So this is just a fun little piece of build that, I, I mean, I love doing industrial builds. If you've been following my channel, you know I like doing them. So I always try to find an excuse to plop them even in the most random places, but I thought it fit pretty well here. And we'll just go ahead and kind of fence in this property now. I'm just doing a simple chain link fence. We'll throw a gate on it, nothing too fancy. Uh, but I thought it was just a nice little bit of detail to add that might be a little bit unexpected when you're building a, a ski resort, right? So there's the gate. Looks good. Yeah, look at that plow. I'm all about that. So 
Now, um, just adding the trees to the front of the hotel itself, wanted that to look a little bit nicer, just is, is like these grass planters. So I, I tried to find some like taller bushes and trees so they can actually clip through the planters and look nice. And then right in the middle here, I liked when I did that big oak tree in my park in the last build. So I decided to put a big oak tree right in the middle of the roundabout just to give you something cool to look at. And now I'm finally tackling the task of uh, landscaping this whole property, which is going to be probably the biggest pain in the butt in the entire build for me. Uh, not this kind of detailed landscaping, but doing the forest and stuff, like I said, went a little bit too overzealous and then had to do a lot of deleting that took far too long. But for the entryway and the hotel itself, just adding some kind of nicer, more manicured landscaping to the front end of things, kind of at the corners of this rock wall, we are just gonna have a little bit of like natural growth areas. Um, all in all though, I think this is some of the best landscaping I've done. I really enjoyed the look of it. And um, you know, I didn't go too crazy with it. Sometimes you don't have to go nuts with it to have a really good outcome. Um, I did go nuts with the forest, but not this landscaping at least. <laughs> So just finishing out the bit of like natural growth areas right along the rock walls here, I thought they kind of fit in the corners. I did want to have some like rocks and stuff since this is up in the mountain, you know, showing that when they got that kind of cleared out the area around here, there was these big boulders that just couldn't be moved. So they left them there and kind of built around them and uh, just plopping in some trees to kind of block in this different colored uh, grass that we have here. And just using like pine bushes and stuff uh, right along the front end. Again, nothing too fancy, but I think again, add some good detail there. And then um, another little bit of natural growth on this corner here. And we're gonna do a little bit in front of the restaurant and then that'll be that for uh, this bit of the build. And then we'll kind of jump more into the uh, actual mountain, the ski mountain itself, cause that did take quite a bit of time to get right, but I think it ends up looking pretty nice. Um, I had to mess around again with surface painter a lot. I ended up just leaving the vanilla surface painter on it, uh, but you'll see it looks kind of rocky, so not crazy about that. I did want it to look more like grass, but every grass decal I tried was not working out as far as the mountain goes. So it, this is just a day of random looking uh, ground covering, and we're gonna be okay with that. So just finishing up the uh, deck here in the back of this building. Like I said, I wanted it to look a little bit nicer. So I got this wooden deck off the workshop. I think it looks really nice um, when compared to the building. Obviously, the building has a lot of uh, woodwork on it itself and kind of natural wood coloring. So I wanted to uh, kind of match that as best as I could and match kind of the outdoorsy motif. And then we're just gonna throw a fence on the back end of this. Uh, I end up just using like the amusement or the park fence. Um, I thought it looked nice. I didn't wanna use the typical iron fence that I've always been using just because I feel like I've been using it a little bit too much in this build, um, So, or in this city, excuse me. So I'm just using this one. Had to do a little bit of maneuvering so it didn't clip in with the color of the decal, but um, by the end of it, it all, it's all good, looks really nice, and adds a little bit more. I think it just, with the concrete, it would have been too dull. I think with the wood, it pops a little bit more on the back end of this building. And so now, this is where I'm gonna start building out the forest. Uh, so I'm just gonna start by putting a lot of undergrowth and some different bushes and things, and then just a whole smattering of pine trees as I've been doing. Uh, don't worry, I cut the vast majority of this out just because I know watching me put down trees is not what you came to this build for. It's not what you came to the video for, uh, but I thought I'd just show a little bit of my process and kind of where I'm placing the trees in relations to the mountain. So we're just gonna grab all these and kind of start spreading them around the uh, building itself and kind of in the nooks and crannies of the mountain as you can see here. So this is me going through now and starting to thin everything out because I realized it was a lot. Um, to actually get the trails going, basically what I had to do was kind of carve them out of the forest itself. So you're kind of seeing me start that process right now. I'm gonna start a trail up here. Like I said, it's a really rocky looking mountain. I'm hoping the snow, they get a lot of snow cover so you're not gonna be smashing into really hard ground when you're skiing. Uh, but I did try putting down grass, like I said, and it just, it looked awful. It looked like I painted the mountain with a, you know, really bright green paint. So I don't know if I just didn't find the right decal or what, but we ended up just going with this natural coloring and calling it a day. And now what I'm going to do to add a little bit of detail to the different runs coming down the mountain, I found on the workshop this like ski netting. 
Um, unfortunately, it's not a network prop, it's just a simple prop. Um, and because of that, it's not going to connect perfectly. Um, but honestly, once you scroll out, it looks fine and I doubt I'll be scrolled into the mountain of this uh, the side of this mountain anytime soon after this build so from a distance it looks really nice and I think it really helps the different runs on the ski mountain pop um, definitely in the cinematics you can see that so as you're saying I didn't even thin out the forest enough so I had to go through and kind of plop things in different directions to get them to fit a little bit better um, yeah, you know, that was my bad. <laughs> I did as best as I could. And now, uh, with the mountain kind of all said and done, we're just gonna finish up around adding details um, as far as ski stuff goes. So obviously, I know people wouldn't just have their skis hanging out by the chairlift in the middle of the summer, uh, but it adds, it's really me just ham fisting the idea that this is a ski mountain. So I just put those down there and put like these slow down signs, and then these are different like snow blowers that they'll have so if they need to put more snow on the runs during the winter they can so I'm just kind of plopping those on the sides here um, just kind of haphazardly not really any rhyme or reason to it and then to light up the entire build I did want to utilize these big stadium lights so you guys are gonna watch me go ahead and kind of finish up the build here there's only a little bit left I'm gonna let the music play out if you've been enjoying the video so far definitely leave a thumbs up if you're new to the channel definitely subscribe if you're enjoying what you're seeing I'm gonna see you guys for a live play on the other side. Enjoy the rest. Hey everybody, and of course, welcome to the live play section of today's build. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse. We're gonna jump right into it because there's a lot to go over. This build took a while. So welcome to the Acadia Ski Resort, or that's the placeholder name for now. If you guys got any ideas for a better name for the resort, let me know in the comments below. But welcome, uh, let's just jump right into what we got going on as you lead up to it right off the road, um, just to kind of give you a sense of where we are and point of the map. So the city we've been building is over here, the uh, Moosehead is all the way over here, and then here is where the resort's gonna be. Eventually we're gonna have a little ski town somewhere in this area, but I built it right off the highway, and we come up through here, um, and then as you come closer, you have this nice roundabout with a big oak tree in the middle, a lot like the park that we built in the last one. I like putting that big oak tree there. There's gonna be a bunch of parking for guests over here, so for people who are staying in the hotel or the resort. Um, right in front, I put this little uh, like camera crew slash news crew, like they're doing a expose on this big resort and what you can do during the summertime here or something like that. And then I just did a little bit of detailing. There's already a ton of detail in this resort, but I just added a couple of these light posts and I added uh, this big revolving fountain and things like that. Uh, just to kind of add a little bit more leading up to it and of course the actual like brickwork and stuff you guys saw me put down and then just landscaped a lot throughout of it it's mostly natural landscaping a little bit of uh, kind of manicured stuff along the sides of the building we have this nice rock wall kind of looping around it um, and that is pretty much the resort itself over here we have the oasis pool by king leno and i just added again few more things to it for some reason it decided that it is underground now it looks like so let's just pop that up a little bit there we go so anyway that's the king leno uh, oasis pool right there so we got that hanging out over here with just some extra props and stuff as far as like seating and cabanas and then i did put down a couple of tennis courts with um kind of this wraparound hedge on them just to add a little bit more stuff to do with the resort and then of course if it's a bougie place you got to have a bougie starbucks so we got starbucks over here for people if they want some coffee while they're visiting the resort and then around back of the resort just a quick little detail i added was just this kind of like maintenance place so when it does snow and they have to clear the trails and stuff like that they got all the equipment to do so over here 
And then of course it wouldn't be a ski resort without the actual ski mountain. So I'm just using the chair lift. Uh, I'm gonna pause it just cause I'm getting a little bit bad frame rate, um, but probably all the trees. But anyway, we have this big chair lift here, which is of course just the cable car asset, the vanilla one. Um, I didn't, there is a chair lift asset on the workshop, but you need snowfall, the DLC to get it. And I don't have that one, so whatever. Um, but anyway, here is our nice big ski hill. I got these cool ski nets I got off the workshop, my stadium lighting kind of just going through it. Uh, the ski nets, I probably said this in the build itself, but they're a far away prop. They are not perfectly lined up at all, but they look fine and it really just delineates nice on the mountain. Up top here, we just have like a walkout tower and a, you know, emergency tower and things like that. And of course the end of the chair lift slash cable car right there. Um, but these just, I just wanted a couple different runs to come down the mountain here. And then we did add some light to them as well. So even at nighttime, this is a nice, well lit up mountain. So you can actually see that. I think it looks pretty cool from a distance too. I think that's nice. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, there it is at nighttime, just a little bit more for you. I think it was one of my better builds for sure. I'm really proud of this one. Let me know what you think down below in the comments and uh, you know what you think of the build itself and any particular parts, what you liked, what you didn't like. And if you're new to the channel, you've been enjoying what you've been seeing, definitely subscribe, especially if you love City Skylines. I typically post um, new builds every week at least, um, but just go check those out and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But we are going to leave you with some cinematic shots of today's build for you guys. So we're going to go over to those. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.